and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialize with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. just sit there gawping at me. Basically this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run so you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialize with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia, and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain, and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb, and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs, so if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. at me. Basically this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run so you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Hello and welcome to this Swift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Swift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs, so if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Stephen Cousins and we are broadcasting live on Facebook and on YouTube. While we're getting everything ready, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Live YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run and also Twitter at Film My Run and the website is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, don't forget to drop me a ride on and watch me do all the hard work. <laughs> to the Zwift Run Live channel and to the Film My Run Facebook page. We are not going to be doing a lot of chat today. It's uh, me against the clock. I've noticed there are a couple of speedy guys in the run today. I'm not going to beat Tim Iveson. So I don't think we're going to get the win today. But I am going to go for it. I'm going to try and get under 19 minutes for the 5K this evening. So fingers crossed we can do that. We're off in a minute and a half. Um, Nick Dumbleton says, good evening, let's go. Yes, uh, Z Squad says, go Stephen. Nice. Uh, so we'll be off shortly. I've, uh, I've warmed up for a couple of kilometers. Legs are all right. I do have a little bit of a groin um, pain, but it's only come on in the last 15 minutes. So it might just be nerves. Um, but the tiny little groin ache so I'll just monitor that as the run goes on if the if it gets a bit 
uh, saw, I will slow down. I'm not, I'm not precious about this, you know. I'll try, but if it doesn't go well and I need to slow down, then I will, and I don't apologise for it. Um, but other than that, we are ready to go. Uh, Paul Haywood says, go for it. So five kilometers, 19 minutes of hard work coming up in 30 seconds time. No talking, just going for it. Vidar Sorensen says, good luck with the race, Stephen. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> okay, let's get up to speed. Wanda Archer says, you've got this. Thanks, Wanda. Right. Okay, somebody's going crazy at the front. So we ignore them. guys.
get it up it. I have to walk it out myself. Got to be quicker. Cheers, Ace. Jonathan, I will. I'm trying to.
Oh no, John's had a drop out. Bad luck, John.
Jack it up. Thanks, Carl. Had to keep Neil away. <sighs> Cheers, Paul. Thank you, Victoria. Booyaka <sighs> shah, says Vida. So, finish time. We can't see it on the uh, results there because there are no results. But I think I saw something around about 18 
43, maybe something like that. Thanks, Kev France, on Twitch. 1838, blimey. <laughs> do you know what? I, I, I hope I can do that outdoors with my current fitness level. I mean, I think I am quite fit at the moment. But it's always a worry, isn't it, when when your indoor treadmill times are faster than your outdoor times. So that is that is a 5k PB, I think, indoors or outdoors. So I do need to go and do it outdoors, really. Or it, <coughs> it doesn't count, does it? Um, and Nick Dumbleton says, now we can go and watch Liverpool beat Arsenal. Absolutely. Yeah, fingers crossed for that. I think... I think we ought to give the Carabao Cup a good try this uh, this season. Uh, Nick, uh, Neil, thank you. You were pushing me. I wouldn't have gone that quick had you not pushed me from behind. I saw you coming and uh, yeah, I was having to step it up because you were getting closer and closer. But uh, thank, yeah, thank you for pushing me, buddy. So as suspected, Tim Iveson, um, uh, beat me to the uh, the win, and we had somebody else, Bor- Boya, uh, from uh, is that Colombia, Venezuela. So we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll give him a ride on, but he did go off at a pretty crazy pace at the beginning. Uh, but we'll let him off. We'll give some ride-ons. There's Tim. Well done, Tim. Look, he's still running, mate. Oh, honestly, that makes me sick. That does. When you can do. I th- he probably did a sub-18, didn't he? Sub-18, park, uh, park run, <laughs> uh, 5k, and then goes on and does a little jog afterwards. Oh, dear. Oh, well done, John Shaw, who had a dropout and may well have come close as well. Uh, Williams and Fenn from Germany. Can't see anyone else on the list there, so we'll just leave it at that for the time being. A BT Bill says, superb run, great time. I've put my cuppa and biscuits down to applaud you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Neil says I'm absolutely shattered. Yeah, me too, buddy. I think I definitely got into zone five there a couple of times. So good, a good, um, certainly high aerobic and possibly even into a little bit of anaerobic there at the end. Um, it's quite hard to get to anaerobic on the treadmill. I have to say, I... I I'm much more likely, I think, to get to anaerobic doing park run outdoors. <sighs> anyway, okay, uh, short stream tonight, 90, 20 minutes worth. And uh, John, John Shaw says he feels sick. Yeah, yeah. well, if you don't throw up at the end of a 5K, then you haven't worked hard enough. That's the rule, isn't it? I, that's what I heard. <laughs> so, so none of us have worked hard enough because we all feel sick, but we haven't actually thrown up. Um... Yeah, okay. So, um, what day is it today? Thursday, so we'll be back tomorrow for... um, I don't know what I'm doing in the morning, um, but in the afternoon, in the evening, we are doing uh, the uh, Fartlek Friday with Ryan Downey, so uh, we will be there for that. And uh, I hope Ryan appreciates the fact that I deliberately put in 20 kilometres an hour right at the end there, just for him. I think I was... I think I was just far enough ahead of Neil that I didn't actually need to put in that 20 kilometers an hour. But um, just because uh, Ryan, I knew, would complain at me on Messenger later, uh, if I didn't do it, that's the only reason I did it. Uh, Neil Messenger says he did a 5K run outside before this. Well, buddy, it's no wonder you couldn't catch me then, mate. You need to stop doing these warm-up runs outside. Uh, Jonathan Cost says he's just trotting around London Zone 2. It's all right, Ryan. No problem. You're welcome. Right, fans off and I'm off. I will see you guys tomorrow for Ryan's Fart Lake Friday. And uh, take care. Have a good evening or a good rest of the day wherever you are in the world. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for all the chat, Twitch, YouTube and Facebook as usual. Love you guys. Thank you. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Why am I just randomly pressing all these buttons? Right on. Uh, Sebastian. No, not Sebastian Vaughn. Just S Vaughn. I don't know his first name. Right. Take care. Bye bye. See you.